we're interested in the circle of life in a holistic sense, which is uh, that you can't just pay attention to the physical side of global health. You also have to pay attention to the mental side. In mental health, there are huge differences between what's available in the West and the North as opposed to the South and the East. People are stigmatized all around the world with mental health conditions. Uh, but I think especially so in low and middle income countries where you don't necessarily have the examples of successful treatment. So we did this massive study uh, around the world to build consensus on what are the really important challenges in going uh, from where we were today to where we want to get in mental health. This was a project that uh, took us just over a year to bring together a huge community of stakeholders. We had more than 400 people from countries all around the world, from more than 60 countries who are working in mental, neurological, or substance use disorders to, to tell us what are the grand challenges in global mental health. So on one page you have everything you need in order to decide what is your entry point. There's almost no funding for innovation in mental health in low and middle income countries. So Grand Challenges Canada has invested $20 million in uh, improving service delivery, increasing access and addressing stigma. The reaction to our funding uh, initiative uh, has been so amazing that uh, some people have looked at it and said, this can't be true, $20 million for global mental health, that can't be true, it must be a hoax. What we need is really a movement around global mental health, and uh, that movement made a significant advance with the Nature Paper identifying Grand Challenges in Global Mental Health. I think we really energized it through Grand Challenges Canada's investment. But that really should be seen as a catalytic step that would bring other interests, other funders to the table so the movement accelerates. If I were starting over again today in my medical career, I'd go into global mental health without a doubt. Because I think that it is now the most challenging. Uh, and whenever there are huge challenges like this, there are more opportunities to do good research, to get in on the ground and provide good care and to think innovatively.